Yo, yo, welcome to another video, guys. Today, we are going to be talking about my rock on composition and uh, why and how to build it so it can work in a lot of dungeons. Um, obviously, the main reason you want to build it is so that you can condense the amount of runes that you need to invest into your dungeon farming. Um, that is the main, main reason why you actually want to build this. The reason it works so well, though, is just so much turn cycling between the team ups. All right, so we're going to get right into it. These are the runes on the rocks, guys. And by the way, I'll try to talk about all the dungeons um, a little bit and how to improve on all of them, okay? So this is kind of like the sweet spot that I have found for my account so that I could uh, just speed tune everything together uh, with enough damage uh, for them to work in most of the content okay so um, we're gonna start with Punisher's Crypto and ideally you probably want a little more speed for Punisher's Crypt but these work just fine so these is rock number one uh, you'll notice decent accuracy enough for Punisher's and enough for Steel Fortress you only need 24 for those so plus 60 speed and I went with the 100% crit rate because I use them everywhere. So obviously for Steel Fortress you wouldn't need that much. But 60 speed and then 1700 attack, okay HP, they need to survive. Uh, and then, you know, just as much crit damage as you can fill after that. So Violent Blade, uh, you'll notice they are an attack, crit damage, and attack. These are the other runes. Um, um, one big, big thing, guys, I do want to suggest is I want you guys to max all slots, even three and five. It will just help you. It will just help you so much more. So I will be doing that myself now that I have settled on what builds I will be using. All right. So this is artifact number one. Not the best, guys. This is not the best. Um, it's an HP, which, you know, it helps keep him alive. Uh, this really doesn't do too much for him. It does a little bit, but this right here is key. This is what you want. You want attack increasing effect because you are going to be running it with the homunculus and then skill one crit damage because of all those team ups. So you want to take advantage of that. And this was just a little added bonus. So not the best artifact, but not the worst. Now this one is pretty bad, really. Um, it's, it's, it's why it's not plus 15. And here I went with the attack, but this is really just all I have right now. I can't really get a good one. So this is damage received by light. It helps in punishers. And then this right here, 3% damage. He's going to be attacking together a lot. So you really want to find this. And ideally, we would have the attack increasing effect on this side as well. And then this helps me in dragons, but that's about it. So not too crazy on the artifacts on the first rock. Uh, the second rock, you'll notice very similar, 100 crit, 172 crit damage, 32 accuracy, uh, 59 speed. You'll notice less HP here and uh, more attack, and that's because he doesn't have an HP artifact. Uh, now, this one's pretty good. This one's pretty good. I, this is ideal, a, a great combination of subs that you would want on your artifact. If I could, I would actually trade away uh, maybe the skill to crit damage for the attack increase in effect. Yeah. Uh, here, again, not too much, but we do have a great combination of just damage increasing. So, damage dealt on fire, great for dragons. Damage dealt by attacking together. Ideally, these two would be uh, flipped, or even these two, uh, but attack increase in effect. And then, you know, a little extra damage by attack. So, this one has some good artifacts. Uh, that's kind of like the substance you kind of want to aim for, for for your rocks okay this is the homunculus so i have decided that violent fight is is the best way to go so that she can work in most of the dungeons okay now you'll notice she is a hundred percent crit rate again um you don't really need her uh to be this this good with the room quality okay as a matter of fact guys less room quality can potentially be better because when she dies this the rock on skill automatically kicks in she gains it right back so you actually don't want her to be so good so feel free to add some damage to her 
Now you'll notice I don't have too much accuracy, so this kind of um, hurts me in dragons. Um, so I need to fix that. I need to add some more accuracy myself. Make sure you guys, if you can, get to 65 accuracy. Now because of my room quality, for me, it's not that big of a deal. But I do want to point that out. Make sure you add some good accuracy. Now, um, on the contrary, because I do run her in Punishers, low accuracy is good. Because that means I don't reduce the boss's attack bar. Alright, so she is actually um, pretty just... I mean, she's got really good runes, I'm not going to lie. Um, she's an attack, crit rate attack, with a bunch of crazy substats. Um, again, I use her everywhere, so I want to invest good runes on her. For me personally, this coming FRR, I'm actually going to drop some HP and some defense to add some more accuracy. Uh, because I actually want her to die sometimes. Um, the faster she dies, the more rock ons we can use, right? Although, in some places, she's never going to be in trouble, really. So, uh, you can really ruin her however you like, man. Whatever your account allows, that's how you ruin her. You could go speed, crit, uh, crit rate, attack, or speed, HP, HP, uh, defense, attack, whatever. Any combination works. This is just, you know, some extra damage that I'm taking advantage of. Uh, um, also, artifacts are helping with those overall stats. So, you'll notice... 100 defense uh, from there this one is really good the skills recovery really helps her and these were put on her for my necro video but that was when i uh when i was running the the three hits okay so if you run the three hits and that's another thing i, I will talk about um for your homunculus build if you're going to be doing primarily necro i want you running the three hits on skill one if you're gonna do more dragons then you can do the strip this is for when I was running the actual skill uh, three hits on skill one um, nothing too crazy these are very very achievable artifacts I personally need to upgrade them myself uh, I probably want some skill one accuracy on this side now uh, with the skill to recovery ideally all right so those are the actual runes this is the core now i will show you um, just some tips okay so for punisher script guys if you cannot match my rune quality what you need to do is when you start your run and i'm not probably not going to run it uh but just for added safety measures okay for added safety measures this is what you do you target the left crystal and then the boss all right um, you need to have uh, something that can slow for sure you need to have something that can slow uh, you can actually have this can be anything else where the homunculus is it can be anything else it can be a jolton it could be another defense breaker it can be a tanky crow uh, whatever you need uh, whatever you need and just like I said if you can't match this kind of room quality just just be mindful that no matter what our times are never going to be the same, you know. If you have better rooms than me, you're going to be even faster than me. If you know the room quality is not as as good as mine, obviously your runs are going to be a little slower. So the more you invest into these uh, into these rocks, the better your results are going to be. All right. I just want to make that completely clear. Completely clear. Uh, I will be making a full video on on some of these teams. Uh, so we'll see how it goes but you can see here you kind of get the idea right even if the homunculus die they're gonna just dot him to death so so now we go over to the steel fortress now you'll notice that I only run the sink here now that was for video purposes guys I'm not gonna lie it, it does work it does work it works very well but at the end of the day he can still get resisted she can maybe not put up the immunity and things can get stunned and it just can go bad right um so i prefer that you don't run her here if you don't need to but if you want to you can as long as you're okay with a couple of fails then you definitely can run her there um, what i would suggest is maybe running the gina but just you're still going to be using your double rocks so i'll show you this is my actual team uh you put the gina in and you're and you're good this, this would be the, uh, the ideal team that you could run, okay? 
Now, for the necropolis, you do want, you do want all three. Again, like I said, when doing your build for her, you know, just ask yourself, am I going to be running more, more necropolis or more dragons? And take the first skill that corresponds to that dungeon, all right? And this is an ideal team here. What you can do is this can be replaced by really anything that deals heavy, heavy damage. Uh, maybe even a crow. Um, nothing can replace his kind of damage because his passive is unique. He is the only monster in the game that does 50% more damage to dark units. So that's why he is awesome here. And she's here for those to break the shield, really. Um, if you do run her, make sure you don't awaken her. But uh, if not, just anything else that has multi-hits can be run here. You can just run a shine on. Now dragons, uh, dragons again, if you are predominantly going to be running dragons, you can definitely just run skill one with the strip. If you're like me and you're, you're going to want to run a little of both, then you're going to need to step up your room quality um, so you can run just the strip uh, on skill one without the multi hits. Uh, but either way, it's very safe at Necro. You shouldn't need her triple hit if you have, you know, good enough room quality. Um, if you have great runes, you can replace you can replace the Lauren for the crow, which I did in the video. But that team, and unfortunately, uh, you saw my accuracy, right? It, because of those missed defense breaks, it's not a hundred percent. And then in giants, guys, I am actually going to end the video with a giants run. But the reason for that is because I honestly don't want you doing this. Um, again, that was for video purposes. If you want to, you can. I mean, you can. It, it literally works. It really does work. It's crazy how uh, how much it works. I wasn't aware that uh, this accessory would be this good. So technically you can, but honestly, you should be able to find a better team um, unless you really, really just want to go all out and invest just your best runes um, on these monsters then okay and if that's the case though you still kind of want to focus on one dungeon at a time anyway so if giants is your focus then you can definitely run something else if you have the room quality to build rocks that can be used in giants trust me when i tell you you have the room quality to build a faster team all right um you are going to probably need to match my room quality in order for your rocks to, to do giants. I honestly don't know. Um, again, I just want to make it clear. You probably shouldn't run them here. So we'll see. But so basically what I'm saying is I have no tips <laughs> to help you uh, here if uh, you can't with lower room quality because I think you can just make a better team, honestly. And you see, it does get pretty close sometimes, but you know, it does work. So this is the skill tree you want to use. Again, if you're gonna run more dragons than necro, you go with the strip and the single hit. If you're gonna be doing more necro, you go with the triple hit. You go with the triple hit. Um, then you go here, and I do recommend this one overall. The reason being is because she gives a shield, it's an extra buff. The AI actually treats it like like a buff and uses it more often. Um, just through testing, she barely ever uses this, so don't take this one. And of course, the star of the show, the rock on, is the skill you want, obviously. Now, before we end, let's talk skill ups. And you'll notice mine is definitely fully skilled. Um, I fully skilled her when she first came out. So I haven't, you know, no, I had no issues for, uh, skilling her up. Um, if you're running dragons, you need the skill one maxed. All right. If you're running necro, you probably don't, honestly. Uh, you really don't. So uh, if you're running dragons, you want skill one maxed. And for both, you want this. So technically, if you can just get skill three and skill one, you're good. If you don't plan on using her too much in dragons, then even just getting these two skill ups is enough. I do suggest that you invest your double mon or your dimensional hole energy into making more so you can feed and skill them up. If you need a video on how to do that, make sure you search my channel for how to second awaken. Um, and Ugamis. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to be it. Let me know if you have any other questions. 
um, in the comment section below. But this is how you build your rock on double Inugami light homunculus team. If you didn't know, now you know. You know.